Australia has been part of the FIA Asia Pacific Rally Championship since its inception in 1988. And the Canberra Rally has hosted the round many times. With its rock strewn landscape, the event has always had a reputation as a car breaker, with an added exclusively Aussie hazard, kangaroos. In 2018, it was no different. Although at least this year, the kangaroos seemed happier eating grass than getting in the way of rally cars. A high quality field lined up for the start of the Netia National Capital Rally, with the Asia Pacific and Australian Rally Championship fields combined. The Cusco Toyota Vitz of Mike Young and Scott Beckwith was the first car over the start ramp. Behind them came teammate Yuya Sumiyama in a Skoda R5. He was followed by Italian driver Fabio Frazero in a Peugeot 208 AP4. The first of the Australian entries was next, the AP4 Toyota Yaris of Harry Bates. And then at number five, Eli Evans in an MRF Skoda R5. As the event proper started the next morning, it was Evans who set the early pace. The Skoda driver had a lead of 20 seconds after four stages. Bates in second place was pushing hard on his home event, but lost time on stage three, slowing for kangaroos. At midday service, four stages in, he was 12 seconds ahead of Steve Glenny, who was having an impressive drive in a much heavier Subaru WRX. Next up in fourth spot was Adrian Coppin in a race talk prepared Skoda Fabia R5. He was followed by Japanese driver Sumiyama in the Cusco Skoda, the first of the APRC registered runners fifth after dropping time on stage three with a puncture. Seven seconds further back was Young, holding on to sixth but hampered by bent steering after a heavy landing on stage two. Young's regular co-driver Malcolm Reed was navigating for Subaru driver Molly Taylor for this event. However, they had also lost time with a puncture on stage three. Atsushi Masamura in a Mitsubishi Evo 10 was eighth overall after time lost with an off-road excursion. Frazero had been in eighth place but misjudged the jump on stage two, breaking his car's suspension and damaging the radiator. The Italian started stage three but pulled over and retired after three kilometers when the engine started to overheat. Stage three was also the finish of the rally for Lewis Bates after he took this jump too hard and broke an oil line. The Homestead stage was just 1.7 kilometers long, but it was a great location for spectators who were treated to three runs by all of the competitors through a specially designed complex. Three more stages followed in the afternoon and that's when the rough Canberra road started to bite with Young the first victim. A puncture requiring a mid-stage wheel change costing the New Zealander two minutes. He dropped to seventh but was suddenly promoted to fifth on the final stage of the day when both Bates and Taylor had problems. Bates lost all turbo boost on his Toyota limping through the final two stages to fall from second to sixth and dropping over nine minutes to leader Evans. <laughs> Taylor's Subaru suffered yet another puncture on the last test and she had to pull over and do a mid-stage wheel change. Back up to full speed, Taylor was surprised to find the competitor in front had stopped and she clouded a post while taking evasive action to avoid a collision. The Subaru arrived back at nighttime service with a boot full of broken wheels, punctured tyres and the rear suspension in need of repair. 
It's a, a new day tomorrow, so um, you know all the boys will, will do their magic and um, get her back out. And yeah, the biggest thing is we, we managed to bring her back here. Evan started day two with a handy 46 second lead. However, the MRF driver dropped 30 seconds on the first stage of the day when his windscreen fogged up after a water splash. It was impossible to see and Evans would have lost more time had it not been for co-driver Ben Searcy's quick thinking, pulling his seat cushion out and wiping the screen clear. Young was also in trouble, the Cusco Toyota slowed through the stage with a fading clutch and dropping to eighth. Young's demise promoted Bates and Taylor up to fifth and sixth respectively. Bates, now back up to full speed, was able to win three stages outright and score valuable championship ARC points as the fastest driver of the day. Sumiyama continued his consistent drive, bringing his Cusco Skoda home fourth overall and first of the APRC competitors. Skoda driver Coppen moved to second place on the final stage when Glennie lost turbo power in his Subaru, limping slowly through the final test and dropping to third. For Young and the Cusco team though, it was last stage heartbreak. After he'd nursed the Toyota through the whole day, the clutch finally cried enough, just 10 kilometres from the finish. No one could touch Evans though, winning the National Capital Rally by nearly five minutes. Here we are in first position, so it was a dream weekend. Evans and Cersei were presented with the Worth Cup and prize money at the finish, and along with Coppins and Glennie, celebrated by spraying the champagne. Sumiyama secured his second podium finish in the APRC and was joined by Frazero, who also had reason to celebrate. After restarting on day two under Super Rally rules, the Italians secured enough points to take home the FIA Pacific Cup. After two rounds of the FIA Asia Pacific Rally Championship, it's New Zealander Hayden Padden who leads the Worth Cup points, one ahead of Evans. The next event on the APRC calendar is Malaysia's Rally of Johor, July 20 to 22.